Good luck, Kenny. Maybe uh, the third race. Second division of the Champlain Stakes two-year-old open trot. And they're off, and Beardmore had the best start and is first to grab the pylons. Up in the center of the track, Keystone Navigator, Lawton Hanover on the extreme outside. Here comes American Mike out widest of all to be up into the top four. Armbro Balance follows back in fifth, and Nichols Levac, Samurai Hall has had a break into the first turn. Ranging up from the outside is Lawton Hanover and Keith Oliver crossing over to the lead. Beardmore there in second. Keystone Navigator has a seat in from third. American Mike was off stride briefly, gathered up and he's taken back to an inside position in behind Armbro Balance and Nichols Levesque. And uh, now American Mike is clearly off stride. The trailer past the quarter, Samurai Hall, the leader by two, Lawton Hanover, in an even 30 seconds, driving out from third. Here comes Keystone Navigator on the way to the half. Keystone Navigator kicked out from third and is moving up on the outside against Lawton Hanover. Beardmore back at the inside is third. Three more lengths to Armbro Balance, racing it off from fourth. Nichols Levesque fifth in the backfield after after break, Samurai Hall and American Mike. They made half a mile in a minute and three fifths. Out there on the way to the final turn is Keystone Navigator. And he's off stride now. When trying the first over rush, they'll move inside the final three eighths of the mile. So it's Lawton Hanover. That's re-inherited a lead of a length and a quarter. Beardmore has had the trip right there from second. Armbro Balance has attended well from third and is already being brought to the outside. Nichols Levesque fourth. Trying to get back into it is Samurai Hall. Then back to Keystone Stone Navigator and American Mike at the top of the stretch. Lawton Hanover, Beardmore, Armbro Balance is already way out in the three path from third. One thirty and four, three quarter time. They're fanning out across the track for the final eighth of the second. Champlain Stakes Division, Beardmore and Jacques Ibar have taken the stretch lead. Still coming, Armbro Balance. Armbro Balance sprinting on with Beardmore. Beardmore is digging deep. Beardmore, Armbro Balance, Beardmore won it by about half a nose to Armbro Balance. Lawton Hanover looking to hold third. Beardmore 159 and four in a tight one. Number two, Beardmore was back as the Mohawk third race winner. Angus Hall, two-year-old Bay Colt from Bright Leaf. Owned by the River Ridge Farm of Ottawa, trained by Lyle Anderson and driven to victory by Jacques Hibert. First lifetime win right here at Mohawk, a mark of 159 and 4 in the Champlain Grand Circuit Stakes for Beardmore. Making the trackside presentation, Mr. Jamie Martin, Vice President of the Standard Red Racing Division at Woodbine and Mohawk on the circuit for the Woodbine Entertainment Group. Joining me, Jacques Hebert, a winning driver with Beardmore in Division Number 2 of the Champlain tonight. Uh, Jacques, the maiden breaking win tonight, and uh, I guess you were quietly confident coming in tonight that the Philly could do it. Yeah, I know he, uh, if he, if I can get, have him, uh, you know, pretty quiet behind the gate, that's his problem. He's, he's too excited behind the gate, but after the gate leave, you know, that's all he wants to know, he wants a trot. So uh, after that, it's on his own, and I just have to follow him and get it, guide him to, uh, in the right place. And, of course, a Colt, not a Philly uh, tonight, the Colts featured. This guy, uh, you worked out a perfect two-hole trip. Um, did the race unfold like you thought it might? Yeah, yeah, they, you know, after we win, you know, nothing was wrong. But, uh, yeah, but I don't mind uh, cutting the mile with him, too. You know, he, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he can do it, too. Yeah. And, and faced a pretty stiff challenge in the stretch. Were you confident uh, you could fight that other one off? Well, I wasn't sure up to the wire, you know, because he... Uh, uh, my daughter was pretty, uh, pretty strong on me, so um, my daughter would really win by much. So, uh, no, I was up to the wire. I wasn't really sure. Uh, you've had a very busy weekend. Uh, yesterday, the uh, Quebec Championships. How was your day there? A uh, pretty good day. I drove four yesterday. I was supposed to drive five, but one was scratched because of it. And uh, I win one with the two-year-old trotter, the full brother of McCoy, and uh, finished short with another one. Uh, let's talk about that one. His name is uh, Magoo. Um, any similarities as far as uh, their stature and, and how they perform on the track? With uh, with Beermore? Uh, mm -hmm. Magoo. With Magoo. Uh, Magoo and, uh, and McCoy, that's the uh, same thing. Same same horse. You know, he, they look they look the same. You know, same gait and uh, everything. It's, uh, but this one, uh, Magoo is probably a little smaller and probably not as strong as McCoy was as a two-year-old. But we're lucky this year. He's, he's still he's good enough. All right. Hopefully we'll hear more of him. Uh, glad to have you with us tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Jacques Hebert getting it done with Beardmore. His maiden breaking win tonight. The first in six tries and scoring in division number two of the Champlain. Let's take a look at that close win photograph from tonight's third. <laughs> 